How to install .OS on the POCO X3 Pro Hey peeps, what's up? Manji here, back with another video and in this video I'm going to show you how you can install the official build of .OS on the POCO X3 Pro Now what are the prerequisites for this video? Well, for starters you need to have an unlocked bootloader and then you need to have a custom recovery installed. So for me, I have an unlocked bootloader and I do have TWRP recovery installed. Videos for those can be found in the description of the video. Next thing, I do have the international variant of the POCO X3 Pro, which is codenamed Vayu, but the process will work on the Indian variant as well, which is codenamed Bhima. Another thing you need to make sure is that your battery is charged at least 50 to 60%. Do not do this process if your battery is at 20 or 30%. Also make sure you have a backup of all your pictures, videos, anything important which you have on your device because we are going to perform a format data and you are going to lose all your pictures, videos and anything important which you have on your device. Next thing you need to make sure is that you are on a specific version of MIUI and why is that? That is because the ROM is using MIUI vendor. So you do need to be on a specific version and that version varies from device to device. How do you find out what MIUI version you need to be on? Well, I have linked the POCO X3 Pro updates channel, which is on Telegram in the description of the video. And here is the latest update. So this is the official .OS 5.1.1, the ROM which we are going to install. You will see in the notes section, you have something called firmware. So you have 12.0.4.0, 12.0.6.0 and 12.5.1.0 so i think the indian variant is either on 12.0.4 or 12.0.6 so those of you who have bhima or the indian variant you need to be on stock me ui which is 12.0.4.0 or 12.0.6.0 the eu region has 12.5.1.0 zero available which is what i have installed right now those of you who do need to know how to install stock me ui on your poco x3 pro videos for those can be found in the description of the video so those things out of the way first up let us go into settings then you will go into password and security remove your screen lock fingerprint and face unlock once that is done you can go back go into me account and remove your me account once that is done go back go into accounts and sync and remove your google account once you have removed all the accounts and security measures make sure you reboot your device once why are we removing all the accounts and security measures we're doing this because we're going from one rom to another and i don't want you to be locked out of your own device now another question which i think i will get is what if i am already on that specified vendor do i need to go back to the stock me ui well if you know you are on that specific vendor which is mentioned in the telegram channel notes because they do mention only firmware but in actual they are using the vendor as well from this stock version of me ui so if you're already on that vendor and you know it then you do not have to flash stock me ui once again next up what are the files which we need now all the files which we need are linked in the description of the video and unfortunately for now any recovery which is available for the POCO X3 Pro it does not support encryption which means you are not able to access your internal storage which means you either need a micro SD card or a USB OTG drive to flash the ROMs. I do have a USB OTG drive and let me connect it here it is file manager let us go into the x3 pro factory folder so the files which you need are .os this is the official build version 5.1.1 do note it says by you but as i mentioned earlier the video and the rom will work on bhima which is the indian variant as well so this has your g apps baked in then you need the orange fox recovery file again it is for Vayu, but it will work on Bhima as well. Now, why are we using Orange Fox? We are using Orange Fox because the Indian variant has some issues which TWRP, which do need to be filtered out. And once they are, we are going to start using 
TWRP. Anyways, next thing we need to do is boot our phone into our existing recovery, which is TWRP. So turn off your device. Once the device is turned off, press and hold volume up and power button at the same time till you see the TWRP recovery logo. Do note that the USB OTG drive is still attached. So here it is. We have booted into TWRP recovery. Now, if you're already on Orange Fox, you do not have to flash it again until and unless you are on a different version other than the one which is linked in the description of the video so here it is we will go into install as you can see i cannot access my internal storage because the device is encrypted so i'm going to say select storage and i am using usb otg that is the option i'm going to select if you're using micro sd use that and then tap on ok here and navigate to the folder where you have the orange fox recovery image file in my case it is in x3 pro factory so we will go inside this folder and here and select the option on the bottom right which says install image there it is you can see i do have twrp as well but right now we are flashing orange fox ignore the underscore files therefore time machine backup on mac os so i'm going to select the image file for orange fox on the next screen select recovery and then swipe to confirm flash now do note we are getting some unable to mount error that again is because twrp is unable to access the internal storage because of encryption issues once that is done tap on the home button reboot and here and select recovery if you get a message of no os installed swipe to reboot and this should bring us into orange fox recovery so here it is we are in orange fox again unable to access the internal storage because of encryption issues so here in usb otg is still connected tap on this down arrow which you see near the search bar so search button then you have the down arrow on the left tap on it select usb otg or micro sd whatever you are using again scroll down and go to the folder where you have the dot os rom so we're going to select x3 pro factory and just select the dot os file and then swipe to install now once the rom has flashed successfully you will notice we have some errors but do not panic nothing to worry about make sure that you get this message script succeeded result was one and as you can see it is patching the system image product system ext firmware images etc etc so next up we can go back and then you can go into the third option which is the delete button over here here it is delete button select that and then tap on format data here it is format data on the top right and once format data is selected type in yes do note format data is going to wipe out all your pictures videos anything important which you have on your device so again make sure you have a backup of all those things and we are going to say check mark on the bottom right of the keyboard once this is done we can again go back and then select the fourth option which is your three parallel lines or the hamburger menu here and select reboot and say recovery so we have booted back into orange fox now again select the third option on the bottom which is your delete select dalvik and cache that's it just select dalvik and cache and then swipe to wipe as you can see this time around we got no errors next up feel free to disconnect the usb otg drive and select reboot system and there it is you can see we do have the dot os boot animation on our poco x3 pro which means we are booting into the official build of dot os based on android 11 the first boot up will take some time so you have to be patient and there it is we are on the setup screen let me skip the initial setup real quick and we are on the home screen let us go into settings about phone android version of course is 11 droid on time code name by you g apps build and security patch is from june 2021 as you can see play store is present chrome is present which means we have successfully installed the g apps built and yes it does come with pixel launcher out of the box so there it is peeps that is how you install the official build of dot os based on android 11 on the poco x3 pro and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated Feedback and comment more than welcome. See you when I see you.